Hi, it's Tammy from Shrinking Violet DS. Still in bed recovering from plastics. Today is Friday, February 22nd. And sorry, I'm, my uh, phone is all wiggly and I'm looking in the wrong place and I'm just all discombobulated from <laughs> having to hold the phone and do the video at the same time. Anyway, <coughs> um, for those of you who don't know, on January 22nd, my 48th birthday, I had a uh, plastic surgery with Dr. Salceda in Monterey, Mexico, and I had the whole meal deal from my uh, shoulders to my knees, basically. I had um, an arm lift from elbow to armpit. I had a fleur de -lis tummy tuck from sternum to uh, pubic bone. I had a 360 lower body lift all the way around my hip area, um, all the way around my body along that, that lateral hip line. And I had uh, muscle repair on my abdomen. And I had um, a thigh lift from knee to groin. So I calculated it out earlier today, measured it out, and I have about nine feet of incisions on my body. That's a lot. No wonder it takes so long to recover. And I am just not patient with this recovery process, you guys. I have to tell you, <laughs> it's just terrible. Um, someone said, you're like the princess in the pea. And I said, right now, my entire world is one big pea. Everything makes me uncomfortable. Everything makes me whiny. I just am not happy. But it'll get better. It's getting a little better every day. Right now you can see I do not have my um, compression garment on. And normally I wear that garment 23-7. I only get out of it to shower every day. But I had have a couple areas that are just not drying out under that garment, some incision areas. And um, so I'm spending, I spent last night and the night before both without the garment on so I had it on all day and then I would sleep without it after my shower in the evening um, just to try and dry it out and it's working I now only have one area that's about mm, an inch long on my torso and then I have an area on my back left hip just to the left of my tailbone I would say right where that hip bone is on the side of your spine I have an area there that I opened up by moving the wrong way along my um, 360 incision that's about, well, it was about an inch and a half long and we held it together with bandages just to give it more stability so that it wouldn't move around and it could stitch together and it's now stitched together quite a bit. It's about an inch long now, but um, I want to, and I did that while wearing my garment. So it wasn't because I didn't have my garment on, I didn't have the stability of the, of the compression um, that happened when I was wearing my garment. I just moved the wrong way. Um, but keeping your incisions dry, I found, is really the key to almost everything. And so as much as I dislike not wearing my garment, I, um, like I said, I've, I've done it for the last two nights and I'm gonna do it today. And depending on how everything looks this evening, I'll probably do it tonight too. Um, I have that one part on my back and then I have a part on my torso right in between my belly button and my sternum that's about oh, between an inch and two inches long. And it just is deeply moist. And it's no longer wet, but it's sticky. And so, and it's kind of a yellowy green color. Um, so it just obviously needs to dry out really well. So I'm gonna give that time. And as soon as that is dry and crusted over, and then I will resume wearing my garment 23-7. Um, maybe 22-7, because I might give myself an hour after my shower every day to dry out entirely. I think that might be a good idea. Um, I just cannot emphasize enough how important dryness is. It's really tempting to put ointment on things. Um, I've 
really resisted that temptation because I know that keeps everything moist and then it keeps it um, vulnerable to not healing. Also, it keeps it vulnerable to infection because you then have a moist, uh, warm breeding area for anything that wants to grab hold. So I've resisted doing that. I will put it um, either Neosporin or even lotion um, on my uncompromised skin right up to within half an inch of my incisions just because I'm really dry. Um, but I don't put anything on the incisions themselves. Uh, what else? That's about it on the healing front. It just, I'm, for me, you guys, the jury is still out on whether or not this was worth it. Because I have to tell you, it's just been quite something. And I'm sure that it's because I did everything at once. But I also know myself and <laughs> I still think that was probably the best idea for me. I think that there is one area across my up upper abdomen, across my rib cage, where I'm probably going to have to go in for a revision. And Dr. Salceda had told me that before surgery, that he didn't think he could pull that tight enough um, this time while still maintaining skin and blood flow integrity. So we'll see how much that bothers me once I'm healed, you know, in a year or so. If it bothers me enough, I'll go back and have him revise that area across my rib cage. I don't expect that that would be as big of a recovery because it's just one small area. Um, and it's quite an easy area to keep still. Uh, so, yeah, I think it'll be a lot easier recovery. Um, other than that, I just... <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think maybe, like I've said before, maybe I wasn't vain enough to actually uh, get this. Maybe I, the reward for me right now is not there. I don't look at myself and think, oh my God, I look so much better. Or, you know, oh, I'm so glad to be rid of that skin. I, he took off about seven pounds of skin. He forgot to weigh it so he doesn't know or he weighed it and he forgot I don't know anyway but from my weight loss and everything he had, it, it estimated seven to nine pounds it couldn't be nine pounds because I didn't lose nine pounds um I lost about I weigh about 121 now and so I was weighing 125 126 when I went in um taking into account that I'm swollen and so I still have some, some fluid weight, I would say about seven pounds of skin. Um, I am glad to have my lower belly and my mons revision. That's nice. Just, I don't know, just because, and I'm glad to have my breasts, um, raised. I'm not so sure about my implants yet they still feel very foreign to me. It doesn't, my body doesn't feel like my body yet. And so maybe once I get used to it, once I can move around and I can get dressed and I can get used to this being me again, um, maybe it will feel like my body. But right now, it doesn't. I'm not one of those people that is coming out and saying, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. I would do it again in a heartbeat sure I would do it again. I'm really not. Um, I never had any physical trouble from my skin. I didn't have any rashes or sores or chafing or anything like that. I never got infections. Um, I just didn't like the way it looked. But right now I don't like the way I look like this either. So, you know, I don't know. Devil you know versus the devil you don't. Maybe that's it. What else? Um, like I said, I weigh one twenty-one. Um, for those of you who are new, I started this whole thing uh, February nineteenth of twenty seventeen at two hundred and sixty pounds. That's the day I started my pre-op diet. I had my surgery on March nine of twenty seventeen at 248 pounds and up until surgery I was uh, plastic surgery 
I was maintaining right about 130 pounds. Um, and now, like I said, I'm at 121. And I do want to gain back some weight. I don't necessarily want to do it through um, just eating. I would like to do it through muscle gain. Because my, my butt is now so flat, it is nearly concave. So I have no glutes at all. I definitely need some more muscle. I look scrawny to myself now. Um, so yeah, that would be good. A little bit of weight on me. My face, I think, still looks pretty drawn. My color's not good. Um, I have, my color's better, I have to say. My lips are looking better. Um, I don't look quite as pale as I did. I looked really pale and washed out to myself before. And I'm looking a little better now. I'm so looking forward to being able to get back to my, my girly beauty appointments. Um, my hair needs to be colored and cut. I want to get my eyelash extensions put back on. I need to get my nails done. Um, all that good stuff. I did not realize what a difference that made in how uh, easy it was to look put together and to feel good. Um, especially those eyelash extensions. It's funny because I used to come on and I had not put on any makeup for the day. But because I use, um, not permanent lipstick, but the long lasting stuff, you know, it lasts for days. So I would put it on the morning before and the next day it would still be there. So I wouldn't have put on any makeup that day, but I had my eyelash extensions. I had my leftover lipstick from the day before and I looked fine. And I didn't realize what a difference that made. Once I got to the point where, um, I had my lashes taken off before surgery and then I had not worn any lipstick or any anything for weeks um, and then I would look at myself in the mirror and I think oh my gosh I look like Gollum off of Lord of the Rings this is horrible I had no idea that my uh, um, days where I thought I wasn't wearing any makeup I still had so much help really from my leftover makeup and my extensions the lash extensions really make a huge difference you wake up looking like you're already half done with your makeup my nose itches and so i'm gonna have to move you guys i don't make you sick sorry um so yeah i'm i'm ready for that i have a lash appointment a week from monday and so that is right before my six weeks that's one day before my six week um post-op and then I have a hair appointment on that Wednesday so one day after my six week post-op so I'm looking forward to that that will also be the first time I've driven since January uh 20th yeah January 20th it's so strange um the other day oh I spent my first day alone last Tuesday was my first day all alone since January 20th no since January 19th I had been with somebody every single day until then and actually that day my housekeepers were here so I don't know if that counts but I didn't have any family or friends here taking care of me I didn't have any anyone taking care of me my housekeepers were just here to take care of the house of course um, so that was my first day without help since January 19th. So that was a little strange. Um, I'm doing okay without help. I was on my own Tuesday and then on Wednesday my mother came over in the afternoon. Thursday my mother came over in the afternoon. Today's Friday. She was going to come over and I told her not to because Portland traffic on a Friday is just a nightmare. It's a nightmare every day but Fridays are particularly bad. I live south of Portland, um, <clears throat> in Lake Oswego, and she lives north of Portland on Hayden Island, and so it's that corridor, the I-5 corridor right there is just horrendous, especially on her end. It's always bad up by the um, bridge across the Columbia River, and on Fridays it's particularly bad, so I told her not to do that. Um, but I certainly really do appreciate all the help 
and I highly recommend if you're getting plastics, get help afterwards because you'll need it. Um, oh my gosh, it's snowing. Little tiny flakes. That's cool. Um, you'll need it. You're supposed to lay down with, especially if you've had everything done like me, you're supposed to lay down with your, with your um, legs elevated for basically six weeks. And really, six to eight weeks, you're supposed to not do a whole lot. You can do more, but not, not a whole lot. Um, I can't even <laughs> bend down onto the floor. Today, I actually had to for the first time because one of my cats caught a bird and I needed to rescue the poor little thing. But other than that, sorry, I keep getting distracted by the snow. It's so pretty. Um, other than that, I have a, a little gripper thing. I don't know if you can... No, you can't see it, I don't think. Maybe. No. Anyway, it's um, something that my husband actually bought for me when I had my DS because I couldn't bend over then either. And it's just like one of those things that people use to pick up garbage outside. Not the kind with the spike, but the kind with the has a little like squeezy handle and then it has a claw at the other end that opens and closes when you squeeze the handle. Um, so I have that and I dropped my Kleenex box today and I was able to pick it up with that. So that little claw thing has been a godsend when I don't have anybody here. Other than that, I was, I am constantly calling people to come do things for me and come get things for me. So I don't know, maybe I'm more of a princess than most. It has been said. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, but I do think that um, having support and help post-op is really, really important. All right, you guys, I think I'm just kind of rambling now. I've got, that's Pippi, little nurse Pippi there taking care of me. Although he's 22, he can barely take care of himself. Don't know what he's going to do for me, but he's very sweet. And so it's nice to have his company and his little snuggles. Um, anyway, I will let you go have a great weekend and... Bye.